Dear Redditors, I find myself writing to you today with a heavy heart and a mind overwhelmed by a mix of emotions. Recently, I stumbled upon a gut-wrenching realization that has shattered my world, my wife, whom I thought I knew so well, has been unfaithful. The innocuous sight of her car parked outside a lavish villa unveiled a secret affair with a mysterious businessman. As I gather my thoughts to share this harrowing tale, I hope to navigate through this difficult chapter with your support and insight. Let's start at the beginning of this story. I am a 45-year-old male married to a loving wife of 37 years. We have built a strong and enduring relationship over the years, filled with love, understanding, and support. Together, we have weathered life's ups and downs, celebrating our triumphs and finding solace in each other during challenging times or so I thought. I work in the sales department of a big firm. My job requires long work hours and I often go on site to sell our solar panels to our clients. My clients are usually wealthy and influential people. Interacting with such clients has its perks, as I get to build strong relationships and understand their specific needs and preferences. It's rewarding to witness the positive impact our solar panels have on their energy consumption and the environment. Due to my hectic work schedules, my personal life is highly jeopardized which has put a strain on our relationships. It's challenging to find a balance between work and personal life, causing feelings of guilt and frustration from my end. On the other hand, my wife is a homemaker. I make enough money to fend for the both of us. It was her decision to take care of the house and I, being a gentleman, supported her choice. I believe in the importance of valuing and respecting each other's decisions, and I am grateful for the dedication and hard work my wife puts into creating a comfortable home for us. Hey everyone. Unfortunately, basically everyone who is watching these videos isn't subscribed. It would mean the world to me to quickly get out of the full screen video for three seconds and press that subscribe button. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime. Sorry for bothering and thank you so much if you subscribed. She said that she did not want to have kids as that would affect our relationship. She wanted nothing to come between us. She emphasized that she valued our relationship above all else and believed that having children could potentially create complications and strain our bond. She expressed her desire to prioritize our connection and maintain a strong foundation without any external factors interfering. I was respectful of her decision and was elated with the amount of love she had for me. My wife, who is quite meticulous about housekeeping, seemed to have lost interest in it a few days ago. She stated that she didn't feel like it when questioned about it. I dismissed it, figuring it might just be a phase where she wants to unwind at home and take a vacation from her regular duties. But as the days passed, I couldn't help but wonder whether she was dealing with anything more. Her total disdain for the maintenance of our house without any good cause appeared out of character. I advised her to take a few days off from this and go on a trip with her friends to unwind and clear her head. She will be able to see things from a different angle and return to the situation with more enthusiasm to face any obstacles that may come up. Furthermore, she will get much-needed support and make happy memories that will help elevate her spirits during this difficult time by spending quality time with friends. This plan made her very happy and immediately improved her attitude. She showed me the itinerary for the roughly week-long trip she and her girlfriends were planning in the coming days. They intended to travel to other cities and check out a range of tourist destinations. The plan made sure they got the most of their week-long vacation by including things like shopping, sightseeing, and sampling local cuisine. She was slowly returning to her joyful self, which made me glad. In any case, I was too preoccupied with my work to give her the time and attention she required. I thought she deserved a break from this boredom. As I was going for work, she waved farewell to me and requested me not to worry about dropping her off because she would be picking up her buddies on the way. I did not think much of it and left as usual asking her to enjoy her road trip. All of it started with a persistent uneasy sensation that gradually became more and more obvious to me, an instinct telling me something was off. My spouse, who was traveling with her friends, hardly returned my calls promptly and would instead send me a brief text message indicating that she was too exhausted to chat. But since I was so consumed by love and trust, I was unwilling to face the fears that were growing inside of me. I chose to embrace the vows of devotion and loyalty that I thought my wife and I shared, brushing them off as paranoia. I had no idea that behind the surface, 
A lie was being spoken and our relationship was becoming more and more strained. Subtle contradictions and odd behaviors began to chip away at the facade over time, making me doubt everything I had assumed to be true about our marriage. On a fateful day, I was driving by my new client's gorgeous mansion tucked away in lush gardens when I stopped to check on the solar panel installation site. There it was, my wife's distinctive car, in front of me. An intense blend of inquisitiveness, rage, and sorrow drove me to look into it more. According to my wife's itinerary, she wasn't meant to be in the city. I continued to deny that it might be someone else's vehicle. Calming down, I walked up to the villa and watched the scenario develop in front of me in silence. I saw something that I never would have expected to see. My wife was smiling and conversing with a man inside the property, totally unaware of my presence. It was as if she had found a new life, a new happiness that didn't include me. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks, leaving me questioning everything I thought I knew about our relationship. A man wearing a sharp business suit came out as I rang the doorbell and watched, and much to my dismay, my wife came out and made love to this stranger. My head was reeling from the heartbreaking treachery I had just witnessed, leaving me stunned. The scene unfolded slowly, with every second leaving a deeper scar on my spirit. I felt simultaneously numb, confused, and devastated. I stood motionless, unwilling to face the reality that was being revealed to me, and my eyes began to well up with tears. I was so hurt by the betrayal that I started to doubt everything I had previously believed to be true about our relationship. I was immobile as the man persisted in soliciting for my business while I stood there feeling numb. I couldn't even think to talk. As if that would ease my anguish, my wife got up from his side and walked inside to change into some more clothes. I stumbled a lot until I eventually discovered my voice. I explained to him that my purpose was to survey the area before installing the solar panels. Seemingly pleased with my answer, the man nodded. He clarified that he was the property's owner and that he had been anticipating a visitor to check out the location. I couldn't decide whether to carry on with the inspection or just go back to my car and drive away. But curiosity won out in the end. The man started talking to me about his ideas for renewable energy on his land as we made our way to the location. He was attractive, well-built, and pleasant. Give that to him. I started looking over the land right away, hoping to see my wife if I could get a sight of her. After showing such tenderness to another man, I think she felt bad about showing herself to me. I kept looking about the land, but my thoughts kept returning to the agonizing experience of seeing my wife's love for someone else. I was still reeling from the sorrow and betrayal, and I was still feeling uneasy as I looked for any indication that she was there. In the aftermath of this shocking discovery, I found myself grappling with a whirlwind of emotions. Anguish, anger, and confusion consumed me as questions plagued my mind. How long has this affair been going on? Did I miss any signs? Who was this man my wife had become involved with? These questions, rife with self-doubt and pain, taunted me day and night as I began the tumultuous journey of confronting my spouse about her infidelity. As I mustered the courage to confront my spouse, I couldn't help but wonder if our entire relationship had been a lie. The betrayal cut deep, leaving me questioning not only her actions but also my own judgment. With a heavy heart, I knew that the conversation ahead would be difficult, but it was necessary for both of us to face the truth and decide the fate of our marriage. My wife returned after the road trip that she intended to go on. The confrontation that followed was filled with tears, accusations, and emptied promises. The person I once adored had transformed into a stranger, a person I could no longer trust. The pain of betrayal lingered in the air as we exchanged harsh words, each trying to defend our own perspective. I was left speechless as she accused me of her actions. Her words cut deep, leaving me stunned and questioning everything. It was as if the foundation of our trust had crumbled beneath us, leaving only a bitter taste of disbelief in my mouth. She said that because of my inconsistent work schedule, she was seldom alone at home and found it impossible to be happy. She told me how difficult it was for her to be happy because of my erratic schedule, which frequently made her feel alone in our empty house. She tried to keep a happy attitude, but being alone all the time affected how happy she felt. I countered her stating that it was her decision not to work and her sole decision of not to have kids. 
she had no right to blame me as all I ever did was respect her decisions and follow them with no questions asked. This is what I got in return for everything I had done for her. The shattered trust left a void between us, and I wondered if our relationship could ever be repaired. The aftermath of this confrontation led to countless sleepless nights, introspection, and reflections on the future I had envisioned for my marriage. I questioned whether I could ever regain the trust that was shattered, and if staying in this relationship was truly worth the emotional toll it was taking on me. As I grappled with these thoughts, I realized that rebuilding trust would require both effort and a willingness to forgive, but ultimately, the decision of whether to salvage our marriage or move on rested solely in my hands. I knew that it would be a long and challenging journey, but I also understood that staying in a relationship solely out of fear or obligation would not lead to genuine happiness. It was time for me to prioritize my own well-being and make a choice that aligned with my values and aspirations for the future. Also, the fact that my wife did not follow me after being caught red-handed haunted me. I could never live with the fact of how little she cared about what I was going through. It was a painful realization that my wife's lack of support only intensified the emotional turmoil I was experiencing. The feeling of betrayal and abandonment weighed heavily on my heart. The words of my wife stating that she would be willing to lead a happy life being the mistress of a rich guy scarred me for life. Her words pierced my heart, leaving a lasting imprint of pain and betrayal. The thought of her choosing material wealth over our love shattered my trust in her and made me question the authenticity of our relationship. Was she always this person? Have I seen something different for all these years? Was everything that she showed me just an act? These questions lingered in my mind, casting doubt on the authenticity of our relationship. Memories of moments shared together now seemed tainted, as I wondered if there was a hidden side to her that I had failed to see. The uncertainty gnawed at me, leaving me desperate for answers and questioning the foundation of our connection. The fact that she did not feel any remorse or guilt for her actions was troubling. It raised concerns about her moral compass and empathy towards others. Her lack of remorse suggested a potential disregard for the consequences of her actions, which could have serious implications for those around her. The way she defended her actions even after being in the wrong further highlighted her lack of remorse and willingness to take responsibility. This behavior could potentially damage her relationship and make it difficult for me to trust or rely on her in the future. It is important for her to reflect on the impact of her actions and consider the feelings of those affected, in order to foster a healthier sense of empathy and accountability. Redditors, I stand here before you today, this open forum where empathy and advice thrive, seeking solace and wisdom. How does one navigate the treacherous path of healing from such an immense betrayal? I implore you to share your stories, advice, and kind words for those who have experienced similar pain in order to find some semblance of peace. The journey of healing from betrayal can be arduous and overwhelming, as it shakes the very foundation of trust and leaves deep emotional scars. It is crucial to remember that you are not alone in this struggle, and reaching out to others who have gone through similar experiences can provide invaluable support and guidance. Together, we can find solace, strength, and ultimately discover a path towards healing and inner peace. In the face of betrayal, the pain and emotional turmoil can consume even the strongest of individuals. Discovering my wife's infidelity with a mysterious businessman has left me shattered and struggling to find solid ground. Through this lengthy Reddit post, I hope to find solace, advice, and strength from those who have encountered similar trials on their life's journey. To those who have ever faced the agony of infidelity or betrayal, your stories, words of encouragement and advice are invaluable. Together, let us heal, grow, and ultimately find the strength to move forward despite the scars of betrayal. I never thought I would find myself in this situation, questioning everything I thought I knew about my marriage. The pain and confusion are overwhelming, but I believe that by sharing my story and connecting with others who have experienced similar hardships, we can find the support and guidance needed to navigate this difficult path towards healing and rebuilding our lives. Let us come together as a community to uplift each other and find the resilience to move forward, knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. Comments asterisk. 1. You slash Reddit user 1 asterisk. OP, I completely understand what you are going through. At the same time, I don't think there is anything wrong with what your wife has done. She wanted you to spend quality time with her and not run behind just making money. 
It's important to strike a balance between work and personal life, and your wife's concern for quality time together is valid. However, it's also essential to acknowledge the importance of financial stability and providing for your family's needs. Finding a compromise that satisfies both of your needs could be a constructive way forward. If she found that balance in someone else, you are the one to blame for it. You pushed her to her extremes to take such a step. All she wanted from you was love, attention and a little acknowledgement. You failed in providing her with the basic necessities in a loving relationship. She chose someone who provided her with all of that. 2. You slash Reddit user 2 asterisk. OP, I completely understand the situation you are in. I was myself in a similar situation a few years ago. I found my wife cheating with my business partner. He would come often to my place to discuss steps to grow our business. Whenever I went on pitches at other places, I found that my business partner would find excuses to leave early or ask me to go alone. One day I forgot my pitch and went home to get it and I saw his car parked outside my house. I thought that he had come to accompany me and when I went inside, what I saw shocked my eyes. They were both lying naked in my bed. That's when I decided not to trust another woman ever in my life. 3. You slash Reddit user 3 asterisk. Women all around the world are just plain materialistic. They just pounce from one man to another once they find out he has money or possessions. They prioritize wealth and material gain over genuine connections and emotional fulfillment. This stereotype perpetuates the belief that women are solely interested in financial security, disregarding their individual desires, aspirations, and the complexities of their relationships. However, it is important to recognize that this generalization is unfair and does not accurately represent the diverse experiences and values of women globally.